Hello everybody, I am back, and this is the portal on the other side of the nether. I decided to make a little shelter around it, so that if I come out and there's a creeper here and it explodes, it has less likely of a chance of killing the portal out. And since I don't normally keep a flint and steel on me, I don't have a really easy way to light it. Unfortunately, I had to trash a bunch of footage that I had. And what you missed was just me coming out in the dark and wondering, hmm, I wonder if I'll find a wolf. And I find one, which I swear I, I don't spawn this stuff. It just happens. I don't know why I've got such good luck lately. But I also have been building a cabin just so I have a place to live while I'm here. So that's what I've been doing most of the time. I haven't done any exploring. I want to save that for you so that you can see what happens when I do. This isn't the newest snapshot. In fact, it's not a snapshot at all, which is why my stairs are a different color. I originally wanted to do the roof in a darker color than the base of the house, but I forgot that these aren't available in the regular client yet. So I might change this out later, but for now I'm just going to live with what I've got here. But so far, so good. I had to go collect some more wood. I ran out. So, this should be enough to finish the house. Now, I was going to let the roof stay open. Sort of like a cathedral. Not a cathedral. Well, I guess it would be kind of considered like a cathedral style ceiling. A vaulted ceiling. But... After looking at it, it's just way too much awkward space at the top. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna block it off after all. And I'll just light it up. I'm gonna move some glowstone in. I haven't done it yet though. So it's just torches. Glowstone will be last once I decide where it will go. That's the wolf down there that survived. The other two that I got died almost immediately. Because I was trying to defend myself from a skeleton, they got in the way. And my sword of smiting smit my dogs. Smit, smote, smote smote my dogs. Which was a shame. You would say smite or smitten or smote. The weirdnesses of the English language. But there you have it, folks. I apologize if my building is boring for you. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible so that we can get back to things that you will likely enjoy. Oops. There. Now how will that come out? Okay, so it'll be two at the top for a perfect peaked roof. This is nowhere near enough stairs. What was I thinking? And actually, this isn't going to be a perfectly peaked, perfectly peaked roof. I'm off on all counts. That's what I get for eyeballing it. So this is going to have one in the middle, I suppose. Yep, there'll be one in the middle. But that's okay, it'll still look good. I don't mind that. Might as well finish this out. I do like the multicolored wood after I've gotten used to it. At first I thought, oh, that's just going to be a lot more mess to mess with in my inventory, but... 
I really do think that I'll appreciate it. It makes it a little nice, a little nicer, I think. There. Now if there was only glass stairs so I could have glass patches in here like skylights. I think that would look nice on here. Ooh, I forgot one. There. Although I kind of blocked myself in up here. And I don't have enough stairs to finish. So I'm going to have to make some more. Had another weird week at work. I had to sit next to a smelly guy in training. I mean, and the dude... I When I say he's the smelly guy, dude is the smelly guy. He is pretty rank. And... Whoa! Even worse was, later on, it was time for lunch, and the smelly guy left. But somebody else came in, and they brought their lunch from 7-Eleven, which, for those of you that don't live in the U.S., it's just a little convenience store. And the chili dog that he got, unfortunately, smelled exactly like the stinky guy. And that, uh, I unfortunately will never be able to eat a chili dog from 7-Eleven ever again. It's killed it for me. Because it's, it was such a, an identical smell. It's like the guy wakes up every morning and goes, Woo! Bring on the chili! And somebody comes in and swipes him down with chili and he goes into work. I mean, I don't, I guess he has not appreciated the joys of deodorant. Uh, or whatever the reason is. I don't even think he showers regularly, but whatever it is that he does, it, it, he needs he needs to improve. It's It stinks. It's just gross. And I already can't eat certain brands of microwavable burritos because my uncle. You know, he'd have a little too much to drink and then just start eating microwavable burritos and then of course he decides he doesn't need to shower and uh, yeah I won't grace you out anymore it's just needless to say I did not enjoy that training session it was not fun and that guy I've seen him around work and it took me a little while to figure out who it was that was fouling up the cubicle aisles but more? I thought I lit it up down here but anyway, you know, it's one of those things where you just smell this stench, and then you're trying to put it together as to where it came from, and then finally you figure it out, and it's that Eureka moment, you know, get it, Eureka, ha ha, no, I didn't do that on purpose, that just happened to work, like that, after I said the word Eureka, I'm not that clever. But anyway, so yeah, stinky guy equals bad training. And the training was boring too, it was like Sesame Street from hell. Because the guy is trying to explain a concept over a, a web session. And he has a monotone voice, which is bad enough. But then he starts drawing pictures with his mouse to illustrate his point. But he's not a good artist, and rather than use the text tool and type out what he wants to say to describe his images, he thinks for some reason that the solution is to write the letters out with his mouse. And then that's why I say Sesame Street from Hell, because it's like a monotone guy saying, this is the letter A. And then you can hear all the little kids in the background go, A! Except, in this case, 
It was for a configuration management tool to manage our software, our source code for the software. So this is a life cycle. Life cycle. Okay, so maybe that's not that interesting to you, but for me who had to live it, it was terrible. It made for a very long week. So let's finish this roof and then explore. Okay, roof is complete. I guess it's awkwardly big, but... Oh well. I can always fix it later. I just needed a roof. And I wanted it to look somewhat nice. It's nice and bright in here anyway. And I'll probably put some glowstone in the ceiling. In fact, not probably. I am going to. Let's put the leftovers away. And... Put some of this stuff away. Might as well. We need some more tools. Let's make more pickaxes. Never know if we'll need them or not. And how about two axes? I'll make them in iron. I have so much of it. So I don't feel like it's a waste. The sword is hold, holding out, so we'll leave that. I'll make a backup shovel. How's the armor? That's almost gone. So we'll keep carrying that around till it is. Put that away. I think we're good. Hmm. I'm done working on the house for now. Come on, dog. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Let's do a little adventuring and light it up outside. It started snowing last night last Minecraft night. So it was kind of a nice little touch with my cabin. Got a lot of pigs around. So I'm probably going to breed some. I know I'll be killing some for food. There's a ton of pigs actually. More than I thought. Everywhere I look there's more. There's a few more wolves around too. take them. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I have all those and I still haven't really made stew with them or grown them. You know what? Before I started this episode I thought I'm going to make a compass. And I didn't. So I need to remember at my earliest convenience to make a compass. Because I am wandering now. And that is dangerous without a compass. There's the dog. I've got really large biomes in this map. Okay, great. So we do have cows. I am going to take care of one issue and gather some cows. Cows are one of the most useful animals now that they give you both leather and steak. And leather is going to be useful in the future. Whoa, what the heck did I back into? 
Gotta watch where I'm going. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, leather is going to be necessary in the future to make books with. You're gonna have to have a piece of leather, I guess, to act as the cover and the binding. So they will definitely be handy to have. So let's see if I can corral these guys. Hey, why are you walking the other way? Come on, homie. Let's keep walking, brother. Did I already lose my house? It's gotta be around here. Okay, there it is. I see the peak of the roof. Ah! Get him, dog! Oh, don't tell me you don't go after creepers. What a ripoff. Well, forget it. I am not keeping cats around just for that. Come on! You got some cowish bovine ADD or something. Come on! You gotta hurry up, it's getting dark. Follow me. This way. Single file, please. Don't touch the exhibits. A little bit of light, so I don't ruin this footage too. The only thing about torches is it melts all the snow around, and I kind of thought that the snow was nice. <sighs> They're still way back here. All right, come on. Man, I gotta be paranoid now. I got mobs gonna spawn, but I have to keep this so that they are drawn to my wheat. Over here! Jeez. Oh, I sound like Napoleon's brother Kip. Jeez! Come on, Napoleon. I say, see what happens when you try to hit me. We both know I'm studying to become a cage fighter. Alright, that's close enough. Here, you hang out with you. Whoa! Okay. This is dangerous. Let's fix this. Good thing I got a ton of dirt left, because I'm going to have to fix everything to make it level again. Thank you, Creeper. Whoa, sorry, Butter. Butter. Brother. Buddy. Come on! Get back in the house! Get... Get in the house. I see you're as obedient as my real life, dog. That's nice. Get in the house. Get in the house! I'm not going to tell you again. Fine. Sit out here. I don't care. Freeze. Wish I could slam that door. Okay. Bing! All right. Uh, divots. Fix the divots. This should be enough dirt. I definitely need... Oh, I killed one of my trees. I'll have to fix that. Man. I was 
gotta always gotta wheeze my gig. Gotta harsh my my mellow. Whoa! These guys definitely are better shots now than they used to be. All right. You now go hang out with you and make some little baby moo cows. And torch. And torch. I am going to ensure that I am lit up everywhere. Melting my snow, but I don't care. Well, that's good for now. I'll wait till nighttime to see where I'm missing some light. What are you? Oh, you're a sheep. Sorry, you're low priority. And what is this? A giant cavern. Where does it lead, I wonder? Oh, it leads to... Death! Come on, don't tell me you survived the creeper explosion. You did! Okay, I think I just heard my helmet break. So, time to put on my new hat. I look beautiful. There we go. This is a pretty deep tunnel. What else is down here? I wonder. A lot of darkness. Let's hurry up and make some torches. Okay. This is huge. It's really open too. It's a very large natural cavern. I'm running low on this stuff. I guess I shouldn't be using my diamond one for this. I should save that. I've got tons of iron to make more. I think I saw... Yeah, I'll go ahead and collect this. Okay. I think I saw light over there. So we'll head that way next. But I want to see what I have over here first. Uh, been that way. There's probably more past that waterfall, but this is more easily accessible. Probably gonna be a dead end. Yep, dead end, but it's okay. Take this chance to make more torches so I don't have to do it with a mob around me. This is almost a picture perfect cavern. Oh, there's more. I have tons of coal at the jungle house, but I don't want to eat it all up. Okay, time to check out this side. Oops. 
Good thing that wasn't a very long drop. It's dark back there. A little lava pool. I was trying to jump over here to see what was across. Ugh, and I did it again. What was across this way? Probably nothing, but... Okay. There is a cave over here that's covered by all of this gravel. Coal, I see. Some more iron. Whoa, a party. Whoa! Good grief. Why am I getting caught off guard so much? Let's fix this. Alright. That's not cool. So you just spawned here, didn't you? What a jerk. Okay. Collect this and then we'll be back to exploration. Okay, let's go. Wait. Let's light this up. Just to be safe. Put my torch back. Fill this in. Use up my cobble. Okay. So what do we have up here? Nothing? Oh, mushroom. A little bit of iron. I hear a pig, so we must be close to the surface again. And a little mental reminder, make a compass. I've been running around here, and I know I'll forget if I don't keep saying that to myself. Make a compass. Oh, this is another deep crevasse. Let's just drop. I'll just try to remember where I came in. There's diamonds over here. I will gladly take them. Whoa! Jeez! That came out of nowhere. Scared my dog and made me hit the key. The E key on my keyboard. He came out of nowhere. I said, whoa, that startled rascal. Who, in turn, rolled over onto my keyboard. Okay, Lava City. This is a very easy way to get lost. I am now nowhere near where I entered. Wow. Okay, I'll take this. Good thing I brought food. Okay, got a decent amount of coal too. I'll leave most of this here at the cabin, I think. No sense in bringing that through the portal when I have so much on the other side already. I may at some point walk all the way back just to see what's between this part 
of my world and what's on the other side at the jungle house. I don't know how far it is between the two. I know the village must be not too far off in the middle. I'm not going to sit here and collect all of that. Can't swim while I'm eating. Gotta wait a half hour before you get in the pool. Nope. That would get me killed. I know there's a cave around. I'm in it. You tried to sneak up on me. And I've got a bow. Why am I not using it? Why am I carrying this around if I'm not going to use it? What do we got here? A cleverly disguised dead end. Okay. Back to the main room. Well, I am going to explore. I don't want to bore you guys, so let me do this off camera and I think this is a good place to stop the episode for now so we'll cut here and then you can join me when I find my way out of here okay have a good night <laughs>